Two and a half years ago, a Democratic president teamed up with a Democrat-led Congress to force a piece of legislation on the American people that they never asked for and that has turned out to be just as disastrous as many of us predicted. Amid economic recession, a spiraling federal debt, and accelerated increases in government health spending, they proposed a bill that made all of those problems worse. Americans were promised lower health care costs. They're going up. Americans were promised lower premiums. They're going up. Most Americans were promised their taxes wouldn't change, and they're going up. Seniors were promised Medicare would be protected. It was rated to pay for a new entitlement instead. Americans were promised it would create jobs. The CBO predicts it will lead to nearly a million fewer jobs. Americans were promised they could keep their health plans if they liked it, yet millions have learned they can't. And the President of the United States himself promised up and down that this bill was not a tax. This was one of the Democrats' top selling points because they knew it would never have passed if they said it was a tax. Well, the Supreme Court has spoken. This law is a tax. The bill was sold to the American people on a deception. But it's not just that the promises about this law weren't kept. It's that it made the problems it was meant to solve even worse. 